<clears throat> Alright, let me just uh, add this short video here to help you guys with block multiplication. Um, suppose we got A equals this and B equals that. Alright, so I'm going to form a block matrix with these, but first I want to calculate the square. A squared is this, and B squared is that. You guys can check that. Alright, so if we consider the matrix A0, 0, B, well this is a block diagonal matrix. It's not diagonal, but it's it's kind of diagonal. It's like diagonal if we count these 2 by 2 matrices as, as uh, sort of numbers in, in a general sense. Anyway, this is a block diagonal matrix. So if we calculate M squared, what we get is this guy right here. And after you square it, you see what you get is 1, 3, 0, 4, zeros, zeros, 12, 0, 0, 12. Well, that's exactly a squared, 0, 0, b squared. So we have the observation, the square of a block diagonal matrix is a block diagonal matrix formed by squaring the blocks. In particular, we can write m equals diagonal of ab as a nice notation for it, and generalizing a bit, if we have n as the diagonal of like a1, a2 to dot ak, if we were to raise that to the p power, we would just end up <coughs> raising each block to the p power like so. So it generalizes. I think I have another example for you guys to look at. Let's see here. Uh, or maybe, actually I think the next one is about, about transposes. Get this lined up here. So example two, um, suppose we've got A is 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, and B is 0, 1, 0, 0. I construct the block diagonal matrix with those as blocks, like so. And then, I look at the transpose of that. How's that work? Well, the transpose, what it does, right, is it changes columns to rows and so, um, or rows to columns, you want to look at it that way. So row one is one, 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 zero, zero, which becomes column one in the transpose. Row two, column two, row three, column three, row four becomes the transpose becomes column four, and then finally row five becomes the zero column five, but lo and behold, this is exactly <clears throat> A transpose and B transpose. So apparently the transpose of a block diagonal matrix is the block diagonal of the transpose blocks. And then more generally, if we had K blocks, if we took the transpose, we would find that it's the block diagonal of the transpose blocks, each one all the way down. Proof of both of these comments that I'm making follows from just examination of the block multiplication as outlined in the notes. So there's that. Example three. I'm sure I'm lined up here. Um, example three, suppose we have a squared is not zero yet a cubed is zero. And suppose we have b is not zero yet b squared is zero. In other words, a is nilpotent order three, b is nilpotent order two. Um, might be interesting to you guys. If we calculate m squared, we still get something non-zero. But if we calculate m cubed, all right, because we just cube the blocks, um, that gets a zero. So we can see that m is also nilpotent of order three, even though it's made with something nilpotent in order two and nilpotent in order three, it turns out that the three wins, so to speak. Finally, one last little discussion here. Can a nilpotent matrix, right? Can a nilpotent matrix be some also be symmetric? So basically, um, I think probably not, but um, here's an example. So if A is this, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, then A squared is this, A cubed is that, so it's nilpotent order 3. As you can see, this is not symmetric, right? So the jury's out on whether that's generally going to be the case, but this much we can say at this point in the course. Certainly, if we look at the kth power, it's symmetric, right? Because the zero matrix is symmetric. So even though we can't be sure that these are either symmetric or not, we can be certain that the, when we raise to the zero power, when we, ra when we raise it to the order of the nil potents, the kth power will have to get zero. So that's symmetric. So anyway, in the absence of further insight, we can at least note that the, the kth power transpose is zero, which transpose is still, I mean zero is symmetric, right? So a to the k is equal to a to the k transpose which is to say that A to the K is a symmetric matrix. And again, I don't know about these uh, without further data in general. Anyway, thanks. Hope this helps.